Hey, it's Amy Scott Grant. They call me the spiritual ass kicker. And one thing that comes up a lot with clients and with Ripple Magic students and participants is not knowing how to say no. Now, as someone that used to say yes all the time, hey, Amy, could you? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. What do you need? What do you need? Mm -mm. I made myself crazy, right? And you probably know what that's like if you're a yes person. Sure, I'd love to help, no problem. And then you find yourself drowning in things that you've committed to, that you no longer feel inspired to carry through, right? So what do you do about that? Learn to say no. And when I learned to say no nicely, I'm telling you, it opened up this whole other world of possibilities for me. Because when I first started saying no, what I would do is qualify my no. I strongly advise against this, okay? Because people that are very smooth, people that are very determined to get you to help, people that are in sales know how to turn your objection into a yes. They know how to overcome your objection. So for example, if someone says, hey, can you help me out with this big project? and you check in and you just don't feel inspired to help out. If you say, no, I can't because, you know, uh, we're going out of town next weekend. They are gonna have an immediate comeback to that, more than likely, right? They're gonna say, oh, that's okay. It's only gonna take an hour and actually we can just do it right now while we're on the phone. Now you're stuck, right? You either have to come up with another excuse or you're gonna end up having to cave and say yes. So learning how to just say no without any qualifier is hugely powerful here are some examples on how to say no okay so no matter what you're being asked you can just say uh no thank you right or that is so sweet but no <laughs> i find if you smile when you give a no it not only throws the other person kind of off like to where they they can't think of like how are they going to come back from that? But it's sort of disarming, you know, because come on, you have a great smile. You do. So if you smile and you're like, no, thank you, or no, thank you. That's so sweet. No, I'm going to pass. Yeah. And it's like that smile softens the no. So the other person doesn't feel rejected, right? Um, another way you can say no, and this is very, this is like almost impossible to argue with. If you say something like, it's really not a good fit for me, <laughs> that's hard to argue with. As opposed to, I don't have time, I can't afford it. Oh, you can't afford it? We have a payment plan, no problem. I, you know, those other excuses that you might come up with. And, and I'm not saying that every time you say those things, it's an excuse but I'm advising you against qualifying your nose. You can just say no, and you can do it nicely. You're not being ugly, you're not hurting the other person's feelings. In fact, if you are clear and calm and you say no, if the other person gets upset, that's their issue, that's not yours, okay? Because you didn't do anything wrong. This saying no is a very important part of learning to take care of yourself and to nurture yourself because you can, the easier it gets for you to say no, the easier it is for you to stop and think. When you're invited or presented with an opportunity, you can stop and think, okay, how does this feel? Whatever your decision-making preference is. For me, I tend to go with my gut or I have an instantaneous knowing. In human design, that's called the splenic awareness, right? Or generators ha also have that gut response. So I have both. So I go with whichever one speaks up first, frankly. And I think, okay, let me think before I respond to that. But I wasn't able to even take that time to think until I learned how to say no. So I hope that you will practice saying no. And I would love for you to post your comments and let me know how that goes. But this is especially effective when you have someone that's very, very pushy, that when they're very clear and they know they want you to do something, they're just gonna keep asking and asking and asking. So try the, it's not really a good fit for me right now or that it's not optimal for me to pursue that that is like inarguable all right so let me know how it goes and i'll see you in the next video